What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Fight for the Factory. We're right in the middle of a level 100 double battle run and our team is really, really good. So, uh, oh, I have to save the game. Um, if you're just joining us now, thank you so much for spending your time with me. My name is Wolflick. I'm the 2016 Pokemon VGC World Champion. Uh, and right now I'm really struggling in my double battle run of the Battle Factory, which is an in-game facility. In, po in Pokemon Platinum, which is a game that came out a while ago, it's, it's an excellent game. Um, and right now we're in battle number five. So right now we're just trying to get through get through this run. Um, it's really difficult. The Pokemon are randomized, and uh, there's a lot of really crazy stuff that happens. But right now our team is really good. So um, if you win a game, you can take it. You can take a Pokemon from the opponent. And what you guys forgot to tell me that I forgot last time is that the Pokemon get better if you trade a lot. And I didn't trade a bunch of times last time. So um, Sceptile, Golduck, and Nidal King. <laughs> Nidal. No, King. I've almost done super good here, but I kind of want to trade it just so I have something to trade, you know? Does that make sense? Septile, Golduck, and Nidal King. Go, 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 go. Yeah, we're going to do that. We're just going to, even though Abomus is phenomenal, um, Septile, Golduck, and Nidal King. Septile, Golduck, and Nidal King. All these Pokemon are bad versus all this Pokemon. I'll take Crobat. Yeah, I'll take Crobat. This is super interesting, yeah. Um, so yeah, basically, the more you trade, the better your Pokemon gets, so um, I want to trade there. I now have Crobot in, in the back, which is really nice, um, and <gasps> wait, when I was sick, that was me. That was me. Um, yes, so once again, this is the, the first iteration of the, of the um, Battle Factory, so I get to hear all three of the opponent's Pokemon, which is really helpful. Um, and actually, I, I think I said, but this is my first time ever doing a double battle run of this. Like, when I was a kid, I played this a bunch, but I only ever played the single battle mode. So, um, this is a tough one. I think I'm gonna go for, wait, let's, actually, let's check out Crobat's moves, because if it's bad, maybe we should just switch it in and let it, let it get KO'd. So, let's check moves. Cross Poison, Aerial Ace, Roost, and Hypnosis. That's a phenomenal move set. That Crobat is really good. And also synergizes really well with my, um with my Garchomp, because I can switch in an Earthquake. So I'm just going to go for Thunder Wave here. Um, he goes for a Screech into my Garchomp, so that could be really bad. Uh, defense is cut in half, but I'm not too concerned. I do get, I'm do. i kind of worried about an Ice Beam. That would be really bad, but um, you can't win them all, and you definitely can't win any of them. So I will go for a Dragon Claw here, trying to get a bit of damage um, into this Golduck, doing a decent chunk. And I do get the Paralysis off as well, which is really nice. Um, not complaining there at all. And yeah, that's a, that's a pretty solid turn one, I think. Psychic, so that's not bad at all. And into Mill Tank, that's yeah, that's totally fine. Um, what's his last Pokemon? Nidoking? King. Ooh, that did a lot. I'm gonna go for a Dragon Claw here and either a Milk Drink or an Iron Head. I'm gonna go for a Milk Drink because I want to see the Milk Bottle. Oh my gosh, I totally want to see the Milk Bottle. I think when you use Milk Drink, you get a little Milk Bottle and then you drink it and then wait, if I had milk, oh guys, okay. So um, last year I had like this. I have a fridge in my room. Can I show you? Okay, ready? We're gonna we're going on an adventure. All right, let's see. Where can you? See? Okay, wait. This is really hard. Okay, you see in that corner. Okay, that's that's a. You see, there's a fridge over there. Oh, great, great move by me. Anyway, so I have this fridge, right? I hope this doesn't make too much noise. I'm sorry, guys. Um, I have this fridge in my room. Is the short version of the story. And last year, I don't know why I had to show you. I don't think the fridge is the problem at all. I think the problem was. What was the problem? I had milk in my room last year and it leaked a little bit and then I kind of got like traumatized so now I don't have milk in my room anymore is the short version of the story. So um, I don't have milk in my room but if I did, oh I missed Milk Drink's animation. That's so upsetting. I really wanted to see it. Okay, next time. Um, yeah, anyway, long story short is I don't have any milk in my room because uh, like it spilled on the floor and or, like it, it would leak and like I don't really know. It was just really gross and I didn't, I didn't want it um, in my room anymore. So now I don't have it in my room anymore. So there's no more milk is the short version of the story. Oh my gosh, Earthquake takes so long. I totally forgot. And these Pokemon have such high HP because they're level 100. Why do you guys, why do you guys, okay, actually I understand why you guys do level 100 because it's super fun. He lived. I'm done. I'm done. It's, it's over. Everything I love is over. That did so much damage. Oh my god. Wait, why is he so fast? Is Nino King using Roar or Counter? Not like this. That's gonna do a lot of damage, and I don't have rough skin, right? Rough skin doesn't exist yet. That's a hidden ability. I yeah, this is a guaranteed KO unless Garchomp is double the amount of HP the Nidoking King has, which is not the case. Um, so that's the end, unfortunately, of Mister Garchomp. But we're looking pretty good, unfortunately, for this Nidoking. King. Uh, I don't know what animal Nidoking King is based on. I'm sure it's based on something. But cows are greater than whatever it is. So I'll go for return. I don't know what my happiness is, but I don't really care either. Um, and we'll go for a cross poison. So uh, cross poison comes out. Ooh, that looks so cool. You see that? That was cross poison. 
Sceptile probably won't live. This, this is Stab, and he's already taken some damage, and Earthquake did a lot, so he's not very bulky, is kind of what I'm getting from here. Um, and Sceptile's down now, unfortunately for the Sceptile. And Miltank's fast, so it goes for return. I actually think Miltank is amazing. I think Miltank is super good in this in this format. Uh, it's just it's destroying everybody. Um, Aroma Lady. Snivels. Oh no, she can't smell. Her whole thing is that she's the smellest. And she can't smell anymore. That's so sad. I'm really sorry. Guys, please send tissues to Aroma Lady Lucy. She needs them. Nice. So now we're now we only have two left to get through this run, and I'm I'm feeling pretty good. I like Garchomp. Okay, let's see what they have. Floatzel, Yon Mega, and Dusk. I love Dusk Noir. Floatzel, Yon Mega, and Dusk Noir. And we have to trade. And we're gonna trade this slot again. Floatzel, oops. Floatzel, Yon Mega, and Dusk Noir. I'm kinda worried about that Floatzel. I can learn ice moves. How am I gonna get rid of this Dusk Noir? All we saw from Sceptile was Screech, and all we saw from Golduck was. What did Golduck do? Psychic. Floatzel, Yon Mega, and Dusk Noir. Floatzel, Yon Mega, and Dust Noir. This is really scary. Um, Miltank can paralyze the Yon Mega. Yon Mega's not that bulky. I don't think Yon Mega's the real threat. I'm sure I'm going to say that and then get blown back. I kind of want Golduck. Can I? Oh, but Scald doesn't exist. So maybe it's better to get like a toxic thingy. Floatzel will beat. If Floatzel's an ice move, I'm going to take Sceptile. I hope he gets- maybe Sceptile's Crunch. I think Sceptile might have Crunch. I know it learned Crunch. I think it learned Crunch. Does Sceptile learn Crunch? Please press 1 if Sceptile learns Crunch. That was really hard to say. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna lose to a little kid. I'm gonna lose to a little kid. I'm so upset. I'm so upset. Let's think about this. So, I think if I preserve my Garchomp, he should be able to out-damage, um... Oh, they look so cool. Gen 4 is so cool. I think Garchomp on his own can out-damage um, most of these guys. Let's look what Sceptile has. I don't want to switch Sceptile in just yet because... Crunch. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go for a Dragon Claw into... Oh gosh, okay. Which one do I need to paralyze? Floatzel's the bigger threat, but I think I'm going to Thunder Wave the on Mega so that if for some reason he goes for an Ice move... This is really bad. This is really bad. I don't know if I can live that. Garchomp's kind of bulky, but Floatzel... Gosh dang it, that's so frustrating. Stupid, stupid. Stop, 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 stop. Oh no. That went really badly. Oh no. And I have another Ice Week Pokemon in the back. And it's a bug move. Oh, if I get confused, it's going to be bad. It's going to be really bad. I can't protect. Please stop. Please stop. Meltank, you're a hero. You're a hero. No, 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 no. Why did it do so much damage? Why does it do so much? Oh my god. Okay, Sceptile's in. Why did that do so much damage? Oh my gosh, both these guys can like Oko. Okay, Sceptile's gonna go for a Leaf Blade, and I need I need the Shadow Mega to get paralyzed, or else I'm just done. Okay, Sceptile goes first, so he's super fast. No resist berry. So we need Yon Mega to be paralyzed here. It's kind of our only chance. Otherwise, we're in huge trouble. Or flinch. I'll take either one, honestly. But if he gets another signal beam off, it's gonna be hugely difficult for me to win this one. Uh, we do get the revenge kill on Floatzel, but we took so much damage from that signal beam. It's unbelievable. I really hope Meltank pulls through here. So Irony comes out. It's not going to do a lot of damage. It's not supposed to do a lot of damage. It's... No. Oh. I could have used Milk Drink and then I would have lived. Oh, no. No, I was so confident. Do I have Rock Slide? Please tell me I have Rock Slide. I know. Screech. It, it might be Spectrum Mega. Why is it doing so much damage? Please KO. I don't think there's any way this KOs. Air Cutter? What just happened? What just happened to me? Pain Split. Okay, don't KO and then Pain Split. Why are these attacks so strong? Pain Split, Pain Split, Pain Split. Oh? I was probably gonna raise my stupid speed. Oh? Pain Split. Ah! I had such a good team and I lost to Floatzel. I'm so upset. I'm so upset. I'm so upset. I'm so upset. That was so upsetting. I'm so upset. Wow. I'm really sorry, guys. I feel bad. That was that was so sad. This is the worst episode ever. Um. Wow. That was so upsetting. No, not like this. Not like this. I'm sorry, guys. I don't really know what happened. I guess I shouldn't have traded. I should have just kept my bonus note. But then I would have gotten bad Pokemon in the future, you know? That's why this is so hard. This game is so hard. 
Um, yes. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm sorry I just got totally destroyed. Uh, I don't really know what I'm going to do with Battle Factory in the future. I really, really love it a lot. Like, I think it's super fun. Um, and so... I'd like to keep doing it, but I don't know how you guys feel about seeing more of it. So uh, I'm gonna, gonna take some time and I think about it. Uh, I'm recording these episodes very far ahead of like where you're watching them, so I don't have time to get like feedback instantaneously. But uh, that being said, um, I don't know. Like uh, maybe I'll talk on Twitter about it. I don't know. We'll we'll, we'll see. We'll see when we get there. But um, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you're enjoying the series. I obviously am having a lot of fun. Um, if you have suggestions, make sure to leave them down in the comments below. And other than that, I guess we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.